Hello Newtons. This question is oral question which you can solve if you have actually watched my constraint motion theory. And if you have not watched, please go and watch the constraint motion theory. So this is a pretty simple question. But I will try to solve it uh, in a very methodical way which I have taught you already. So what we'll do is in this particular question is we'll mark the length of all the pulleys in the system. So this is one side of the pulley and this is another side of the pulley and I will mark the position of the moving blocks. So moving block I can mark it with respect to this particular position because clearly B is attached to these pulleys and therefore motion of the center of these pulleys will be same as the motion of the block B. So I will mark the position X B uh, in this particular direction and I will mark the position of X A in this particular direction. right? So this is the first step. First step is you mark all the pulley which we have done center of the pulley. All the moving pulleys we have to mark or stationary pulleys and we have to mark the position of the moving blocks. So you have marked that. Now find the relationship because there is a single strength uh, string moving from here going till here there is a single string you can see uh, moving across all the pulleys to uh, from B to A. So I can now write down constant so all the constants for example this particular part is a constant this is a constant similarly this is a constant this is a constant so all these are constant lengths because they are not changing uh, with respect to time so these are all constant lengths and constant plus xb how many times one time two time three time four time five time six time and seven time so 7 times xa plus 1 time sorry 7 times xb and 1 time xa will give me the total length of the string. So this total length of the string is uh, I can actually write down in terms of xb and xa and now from here differentiating it gives me the result. So 0 because the differentiation of constant is 0 plus 7 times velocity of b plus velocity of a will be equal to 0 because differentiation of again a constant is equal to 0 and from here I will get the relationship between a and b that velocity of a is equal to minus 7 times velocity of b and this negative sign indicates that if velocity of a is in this direction b will be moving upward in this particular direction uh, and that is how the negative sign is and the relationship is va is equal to minus 7 times vb so this is your answer which you could have actually found it orally also without any pen or paper now the next question is interesting and i want every one of you to write your answer in the comment box next question is interesting please pause this video try this question and write the answer in the comment box i want to see all of you who are trying this particular question so again we have to find the relationship between a and b but here in the question i have said we have to find velocity of a with respect to b so we are setting over here i have also attached a relative velocity here and we have to find the velocity of a first is the relationship so how will we find so let's say i mark some origin and i will mark the position of let me just remove this particular person and I will mark uh, all moving pulleys from that particular uh, origin because here both the blocks can move so therefore I will actually put some origin as the starting point and I will mark this pulley this is the pulley the second pulley and the third pulley uh, or the fixed point is this so we'll mark this fixed point as well so let's say this is I will say x b i will mark this position as x b uh, let's say i mark this position as x a and this position as x let's say we call this as c i mark this as x c so now i can actually write the relationship between x b x a and x c so clearly uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
फोर टाइम्स एक्स सी फोर टाइम्स एक्स सी माइनस नाउ यू कैन सी क्लियरली वॉट वी हैव टू माइनस वी हैव टू माइनस दिस पर्टिकुलर पोजिशन और दिस फिक्स पुलिस पोजिशन सो हाउ मेनी टाइम्स शुड बी माइनस दिस वी विल माइनस एट सो फोर एक्स नो ए वन सेकेंड टू चेक ओके सो वट विल डू इज वी हैव टू टेक दिस लेंथ वन लेंथ टू लेंथ एंड थ्री लेंथ and then this is a separate length right so we have to take this length and that plus constants this constant this constant this constant this constant and this constant is the uh, not this one the not the last one but all these constants will make the total length of the string so let us check what we have to do is we have to take x a x a if i take this position minus this x b so if i actually subtract this x b we'll get one length like this so one singular length multiplied by 1 2 and 3 so this three times plus x c minus plus x c minus x b okay so this will give me plus constants will give me the total length okay total length of this string now once we have got this i think the question becomes easy peasy so this is the part where we have to find the relationship and therefore what we'll do is 3 3 x a minus 3 x b minus x b plus x c plus constant will be equal to the total length of the string and therefore this equation will become 3 xa minus 4 xb plus xc plus constant is equal to the total length of this particular string so this is what we will get and uh, clearly the length of uh, this xc is also constant because it is from the origin to this particular point so we have actually this is a fixed point this is a fixed point and therefore x is also a constant so i can say this entire thing is a constant and therefore differentiation of this will become equal to 0 differentiation of this will become equal to 0 and we'll get uh, 3 times velocity of a will be equal to 4 times velocity of b and that is what we will get okay so clearly all if velocity of a is in this particular direction uh then velocity of b is also in this particular direction and we'll get this particular relationship so clearly what is given in the question va is given to you so we have to find uh, vb vb is equal to 3 by 4 va which is equal to 3 by 4 multiplied by va is what 4 so i will cancel it which is equal to 3 meter per second but we, in the question it is given that we have to find vab so velocity of a with respect to b is equal to velocity of a minus velocity of b what is velocity of a velocity of a is given to you as 4 minus velocity of b is given to you as 3 and therefore it is equal to 1 meter per second i hope everyone has given this right answer as 1 meter per second and if you have given it good thumbs up to all of you and all those who have tried a good big round of applause to all of you because you have tried it so it's a good question not a very difficult one but yes what we have to do is we have to be careful in finding the length of the string as i started with xc there was no point of actually starting we could start with xc so xc minus xv we have to do so uh we just simply uh, most of the time we see that this are the four length one length two length three length and four length and we get confused by that so don't get confused by that okay i hope everyone has got this uh, right answer just keep trying and now we'll move on to in our next lectures we'll move to the two string system where there are multiple strings right rather than actually there in all the questions that we have done till now and theory we have done till now we have singular string but in the next uh, next time we'll move to a, a string where there can be two strings three strings or four strings so we'll do those type of theory and questions as well see you then
बाय टेक केयर